welcome back and in this video we're going to be covering i think continually of those who were truly great by stephen spender stephen spender was one of the important poets of the modern period he was a member of a group called Oxford Generation. He is committed to the cause of social change and incorporating social responsibilities in his poems. In I Think Continually of Those Who Were Truly Great, the poet Stephen Spender speaks of his opinion about people who he thinks were truly great. He doesn't talk about people who were great in the sense of wealth, leadership, time, or popularity, but people who were truly great in the sense of self-sacrifice, commitment, making the world a better place, someone who has achieved greatness for mankind, and of universal progress, even if it meant self destruction I think continually of those who were truly great by Stephen Spender I think continually of those who were truly great who from the womb remembered the soul's history through corridors of light where the hours are sons endless and singing whose lovely ambition was that their lips still touched with fire should tell of the spirit clothed from head to foot in song, and who hoarded from the spirit branches the desires falling across their bodies like blossoms. What is precious is never to forget the essential delight of the blood drawn from ageless springs, breaking through rocks in worlds before our earth, never to deny its pleasure in the simple morning light, nor its grave evening demand for love, never to allow gradually the traffic to smother with noise and fog the flowering of the spirit. Near the snow, near the sun, in the highest fields, see how these names are fitted by the waving grass and by the streamers of white cloud, and whispers of wind in the listening sky, the names of those who in their lives fought for life, who were in their hearts the fire's center. Born of the sun, they traveled a short while towards the sun and left the vivid air signed with their honor. According to Stephen Spender, such truly great people are actually born with their greatness. So according to him, in simple terms, legends are born, not made. Remembering the importance of the spirit of the past, of history, is what makes people great. They live and walk in light and peace. Their ambition is to inspire people with words. They emerge from the branches of the spirit and their enthusiasm and desires fall through their bodies like flowers and blossoms. They treasure the precious delights of the ageless past. The people who are truly great are led by the spirit of the past, like spring water breaking through from the rocks. The past treasures of culture, tradition, norms, and teachings are not forgotten with the coming of the morning light or present time or modernism. The past is not discarded like the evening that symbolizes the end of a day. The great people, the truly great people, are described by Stephen Spender using the elements of nature throughout the poem. Their works and their names are forever imprinted in nature and cannot be destroyed by time or by coming of modernism, which is denoted through the words traffic, noises, or fog. Through the peaceful nature and the freedom of life that we enjoy today, we see the names of those who sacrificed themselves to create this world for humanity. Those truly great people are born of the sun and traveled through the short journey of life and left this world with their marks imprinted on earth with their honorable deeds. Through this poem, Stephen Spender celebrates the beauty of nature. We see the spirit of romanticism in this poem through the way he portrays uh, nature and how he compares the great deeds of great truly great people with natural elements. The way he says that the names and the deeds of these truly great people are imprinted on nature and environment everywhere around us. And not even modernism and the coming of the new technologies and new advancement, man-made advancements can destroy such ageless 
names such ageless beauty and such sacrifices made by truly great people we also find that in his poem stephen spender emphasizes on the beauty and the treasures of the ageless past of history according to him truly great people are those people who never forgot their past their culture their tradition and by knowing their own history and by knowing their own past they can bring change good changes for humanity in the future and with that we come to the end of stephen spenders i think continually of those who were truly great i'll see you in the next video thank you